Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and welcome to my weekly vault video here for the third vault, the fourth week of uh, patch 10.2, season 3. We've got my main here, which is my DK, 482 eye level. Um, this week, we're looking for... Chest piece is probably still the biggest thing we could see in the vault. I had one of those as an option last week, but I took shoulders instead, which preserved me a catalyst charge. Uh, and I thought it was worthwhile. It also saved me 15 Aspect Crests. Um, but we'd like to probably see another chest piece here. Realistically, it's not that bad if we end up taking a socket out of the vault this week either. Um, if one of these items is socketed as well, that could be quite good. So what do we got here? We've got Pip's Emerald Dream Friendship Badge. Not something that uh, I'm interested in. My trinkets are, are better than this one. Although this is Myth Track, so uh, it does go to higher eye level. But the, the, the two damage proc trinkets for Blood Decay... Are both quite good. Uh, there's boots. I already have boots. These are slightly different stats, but certainly won't be taking those. Uh, there's this helmet that I already have as well. There's a uh, belt, and a belt that's on the myth track as well. Uh, and one with slightly more haste than crit than mine currently does, so this is definitely an option here. Uh, then there's also a helmet that... <laughs> Well, a catalyzed tier helmet, but I could I could just catalyze my existing 489 helmet. And then there's Gorhal, which is really good if you're ever fighting demons. <laughs> but unfortunately, the bosses in this raid aren't demons, so it doesn't really help too much there. It does have a really cool appearance, though. It is tempting. Uh, so I suspect that I'm either already safe to take the socket out of here, or maybe I can take this, this belt. Uh, I'll run some sims and... Either way, I, I don't think I'll make my selection here until raid, like until farm is done anyways, because, you know, what if a plate belt drops and nobody needs it? Uh, then it'd be very foolish of me to take this. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we're going to do here, and we're probably going to we're probably gonna throw a socket into the helmet, if I had to guess, uh, this week. And then I'm going to craft a socketed 476 ring and use all my remaining aspects on uh, upgrading, like, chest piece and, I don't know. A couple other stuff to 480, 483, and yeah, character should be something like 484 coming out of this with uh, a lot of sockets as well. 484 with like three or four bonus sockets across the gear. Uh, gonna be pretty happy with that. Up next is my Demon Hunter. My Demon Hunter has done, I think it's got one M plus slot and then two heroic raid slots available this week. So uh, we can take a socket if worse comes to worse, although that would not be... Something we'd be super excited about. Um, hoping to see the lower Dawn of the Infinite weapon. That would be the best outcome here. A little myth track uh, weapon. That would be really, really, really good. Failing that, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Some kind of cool trinket, something like that. All right, so we've got a, a Band of Twisted Bark. Unfortunately, a Mastery Ring. Mastery, not a stat that Vengeance is uh, super thrilled about. Uh, but the other options here are <laughs> an indestructible upgrade on braces I already own. All right, we're not going to take that. Uh, or I could move into the hero track on my cloak, which is somewhat compelling. also takes Mastery off of my cloak. Uh, so it's between that and the 483 Ring. That ring is a lot of item levels does drop the haste, but that's a lot of item levels, and it is on the myth track. But it doesn't have a socket or a tertiary or anything. I don't know. There's also maybe an argument to be made to just like, hey, this is kind of a weak vault. Maybe I should just take one of my sockets now. Because uh, my plan is going to be to push probably for title on this character this season as Vengeance, so uh, may need to start thinking about how to sequence these vaults, and if I'm going to have a lot of vaults with a lot of rows of good stuff in them, Maybe it's best to just take the socket early so that I don't have to in one of those future weeks, right? When I can get maybe something that's actually good on the myth track in my vault. Especially if I don't clear... I mean, I'll be able to clear the raid on this character soon, probably. So, I don't know. Again, I'm going to delay my I'm gonna delay my decision on that one as well. Um, nothing super jumping out at me, but I do, I do need to, to ruminate a little bit more on it. But this week, for the first time in many... I guess in a few vaults. I actually have a lot of alts that have done some keys as well. I've got three characters that did a weekly rat plus 20 keystone, uh, much to the despair 
of the people that I tricked into doing it with me, but uh, this is my druid. As you can see, it is in the finest, actually not even the finest, it's in the same gear that I used to get title on it last season at 446. And this season, let's, uh, let's, say, look, let's say Guardian, let's say Guardian. I'd like the cheat death trinket from uh, the place. Obviously, I'm not going to get it. That would be far too lucky, but don't mind uh, 483 shoulders. That's pretty good. Those will be catalyzed real quick. And, you know, that's one of our four pieces of tier. So we're on our way. That's pretty good. My Paladin. Also, so my Paladin has 483 pants, Myth Track pants, I think. But other than that, I don't have much from the new patch on this character. So we'll see if we can get something good. I'm going to open in Prot loot spec because I would still like a shield and a one-hander, although I did my key uh, as Rhett this week on this character. I beat the tank. Not by a tremendous amount, but I did. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, my... <laughs> Dude, I have an unenchanted Ashkander. That's kind of embarrassing. All right. Oh, there's that trinket. Hey, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's a myth track version of this trinket. I mean, this thing being 489 versus 483, not a not a big difference, but you know, that's kind of kind of bis. So that's cool. That's uh, that's a good outcome. I would have preferred to see that on. Actually, I would have loved to see that on my DH. I think, but that's all good. That's all good. Can't complain. And finally, we have my warrior. Which I suspect did not beat the tank in the key that I did on it. Although, it, we'll see. I was playing Fury. I imported a build, but it kind of requires the new tier set, which I don't have. So, I don't know. And I also, half my stuff wasn't key bound, but it went okay. We timed the key. We timed the key. Yeah, I. <laughs> Me and one other DPS didn't beat the tank in that run, though, as you can see. Um, what we're looking for here is going to be, I guess, just a big shield. So I can. That'll help the uh, the tankiness side of things a lot. See, I still got two very rare items from Vault of the Incarnates on on this character. All right, uh, you know, can't can't complain about high eye level tier. This is nice as well. This saves me a catalyst charge too, which means uh, I'm basically at four piece if I decide to actually do like a heroic clear on this character now. Which we'll see if I ever actually decide to do that. But if I did, that's uh, that would be it. Oh, and actually, I, already, I have five piece on right now, so I can just make the swap already to the. Uh, Molten Vanguard's Shoulder Vents. Alright, that's it for this week's Great Vault video. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, good luck out there. If you're doing any craft this week, if you got your new spark this week, uh, you probably want to craft... Yeah, I think 476 Socketed Ring is going to be a very good choice for any uh, anybody that's looking at their spark and is like, I don't know what I can do with this that's good. Probably, probably the 476 Socketed Ring for if you've been doing like heroic and uh or higher content uh will be your best bang for your buck at this point anyways hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching see you in the next one bye